multiply by 10, you just put a 0 at the end. You've probably seen these problems before. 8 times 10 and 10 times 10. 8 times 10, I'm just putting down the other number, which is an 8. And I'm taking this 0 and bringing it down here. So 8 times 10 equals 80. The same thing happens with 10 times 10. I'm taking the 10 from the top, bring it down here, bringing this one zero down, so 10 times 10 equals 100. Let's go to a little bit bigger problems. 36 times 10, bring my 36 down, add a zero to the end, 36 times 10 equals 360. 48 times 10, bring down my 48, and add a zero to the end, 480. 732 times 10, write down my 732, add a zero to the end, count over one, two, three places for my comma, 7,320. 603 times 10, put down my 603, add the zero to the end, count over one, two, three spots for my comma, 6,030. Now would be a good time for you to stop the video, try out these four problems on your own, and then start the video up again and see if you got the correct answers. Twenty-nine times ten, put down my twenty-nine, add a zero to the end, two hundred ninety. Fifty-three times ten, put down my fifty-three, add the zero to the end, five hundred and thirty. 213 times 10, write down my 213, add the zero to the end, count back one, two, three spots for my comma, 2,130. 405 times 10, write down my 405, put a zero at the end, count back three spots for my comma, 4,050. Remember, to multiply by 10, I just put a zero at the end.